bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road Riding with you in the sunnier days I wouldn't want it any other Welcome back to Children of Erte. We're so excited to have you here. The story continues, uh, but first, Adam, who's helping us out today? We have our incredible sponsors, starting with Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Thank you so much for all of the support, <laughs> Idol Champs, and you can find an Electrum chest code on the overlay and bouncing around in chat now. Be sure to snag that because you get all the goodies that you need to outfit your entire crew in the game. Uh, go, go check out Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. We also have Die Hard Dice, Yay. who has gifted our cast with, we are getting really close to the end here of the alphabet. <laughs> um, this is YOLO Yo-Yos. Ah! <laughs> that's, awesome. um, that's good, that's good, that's good. They have gifted our cast with YOLO Yo-Yos. <laughs> Uh, that we are rolling here tonight, and uh, hopefully they are going to be kind to us because I think that we are in quite a pickle at the moment, so we will see how that goes. You can get 10% off your order at Die Hard Dice with the code Erte, and we will also be giving away a Die Hard gift card in chat. Pay attention to the prompts there, and good luck on trying to win that gift card. And then finally, tonight you'll hear the dulcet tones of Sirenscape because epic games need epic sound. I am Adam Bradford. I'm the CDO at Demiplane. We have many, many fun things that are going on. We are deep in development on character tools for a variety of really great games out there in the space. So check out everything that is happening, Demiplane.com. And tonight I am playing Silas Jordan Sorrell, and I am your magically... No, I messed you gotta it up. Write it down. <laughs> oh, no. displaced magical super fan. That's I love it. I love oh, that's a good magical super fan. Hey everybody, I'm Alicia Marie. You can find me on socials at Alicia Marie Body, and I am a creative artist and costume designer. And this is not a cocktail shaker. It actually just looks like one, but there's like an energy drink in it. But somebody said last time is Bruce drinking cocktails like. <laughs> I just I put it in here because it keeps it cold. No, that's L me. Likely story. Right? Likely story. Like people interviewing. It's all right. Adam's got oh. moonshine, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's the evening. End of day. We're gaming. We're having a good time. Uh, and everybody, I am playing Bruce Armstrong, attorney at law and newly minted child of Arte. <laughs> Hello, I am Jen Kretschmer. You can find me on socials as at DreamWisp. You can find me streaming on Twitch as DreamWisp Jen. I'm an author, a performer, a disability consultant. I do all sorts of things. You can keep up with that all on uh, socials. Um, and tonight I am playing your friendly neighborhood troublemaker, Maeve Morgan Flynn. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator over at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me on all the socials as Oba Lauren. You can find me here tonight playing Carol and Neb Stern, who doesn't have a tagline yet because she's too busy changing what she wants to do every single moment. <laughs> that sounds like Robin. <laughs> Join me. Yes, a young, a young Robin now. Um, um, is it my turn? Okay, hi. Hi, my name is Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. And I have something really cool to show you. I want to show this off because this is my, one of my only Christmas presents I got this year. It's a mini dice dungeon. Yes. So oh as goodness. much as I love my diehard oh. dice, I am putting this in front of them. <laughs> so, you know, you have a little D20 It's a there. threat. A little, a little <laughs> okay, negative yeah. reinforcement, right? Yeah, if if my diehard yeah. dice uh, kill me today, <laughs> you're going in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I today am playing Miss Robin Beckett, your granny for hire. 
Wonderful. I'm Deborah Ann Wool. I am your storyteller for the evening. I am do other things as well, but this is <laughs> where I want to be at this moment in time. Um, I just want to say thank you to Josh behind the scenes. Thank you to Yay! all of our players here today and all of everyone at home. Uh, get comfy, settle in uh, for the 32nd chapter of Children of Mary Day. So, where are we left Everything is fine. It was fine. fine. Um, you were back home, comfy. <laughs> it was all a dream. You're all good. Cocoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I believe we left off at run. Uh, so the five of you were at compartment A. You had a minute to converse with Ivy while she was released from her mirror prison. Steve was standing outside the window watching this all go down. Um, and in a moment, as she began to catch flame, this smoky, shadowy creature, tenderly thing around her began to come forward. Neb, you blasted it with some fireflies, which lit it up to look like the gigantic face of a bull. In that moment, a couple of you ran or were planning to run. I know Silas, you readied an action even you know before all of this happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're gonna start today off with rolling initiative, please. Yeah. Yes. Oh <laughs> it feels like so much longer because oh. of the break. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But it was only earlier today, you guys. <laughs> you were in mortal peril a few hours ago. All right. Uh, yeah, let's I mean, go it's around. still day seven. It's still day seven. You dealt with zombies or, you know, little ice creatures. Um, all right, let's start with you, Neb. Six. A six for Neb. Um, hope. Uh, not hope. Robin. Uh, eight. Eight for Robin. Feruza? Um, 18. 18 for Feruza. She's ready. Ooh. Silas. 18 as well. Uh, uh, do you want to duke it out? I'm I, one. I'm, what is your dex? Uh, plus four. Plus one. Okay, so <laughs> Silas up, and then we'll say Feruza and okay. Maeve. Uh, 22. 22 for Maeve. Mm. All right, my turn. <laughs> 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 And oh no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> nope. All right, <clears throat> Silas, you were readied. Um, so what was your your readied condition? Was just danger. I, 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 as as soon as it um, um, makes any kind of engagement to, to anyone. Okay, great. All right, so that has not happened yet. It is just threateningly there. Now, as its fireflies surrounded it, um, Neb's fireflies surrounded it, Neb, you have the knowledge that this doesn't necessarily just work. Um, so there is, a, there is a little bit of an arrogance in this smoky, sort of slightly outlined uh, creature that looks, stares down at both, you know, at both of you, at all of you. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, you wanted to see me? Fine kind of lit up around. So Maeve, you're up first. I would like to turn and run, please. <laughs> <laughs> this, this feels like a bad news and Ivy told us it wasn't safe and I'm gonna trust that. Um, but for safety, uh -huh. I am going to go ahead and um, just ensure, uh, are you trying to hit me? And whew, there are multiples of them. <laughs> Yes, oh. Maeve's sprinting the heck away. So, there are four Maves just running, just dashing oh, yeah. down cool. that. Uh, not, down not dashing that in the mechanics. So yes, gotcha. yeah, it, it, flavorfully dashing. Yes, uh, <laughs> down the, yeah. down the train corridor. Um, all yeah. right, Silas. Um, I would like to, if, if you're allowing me, because I I could I didn't go back and watch the episode, but yeah. I think that. I thought that I said if anything appeared that was threatening. So the question sure. is, can, can I your... use my reaction before my turn, i.e. like at the end of uh, Maeve's turn where I can still have a reaction after my turn since that would reset? I will happily give that to okay, you. Okay, excellent. So with the I, delayed... Because this happened to you before, like yes. you, you're a little more primed for what's about. That happen. was my intent. Yeah. Um, so, so mm -hmm. yeah. It, um, all right. So I'm going to take that reaction to yeah. 
uh, use the readied um, mm -hmm. spell. Mm -hmm. And so um, I had said that Silas started to move down the hallway a little yes. bit, but wanted to position between. And so Silas mm -hmm. turns and, um, it, you know, people could almost smell gears uh, turning or something uh, in his mind. And uh, he just locks eyes with where he thinks the eyes are uh, uh -huh. on, on this thing. And um, mentally, and no one else can hear this, but the creature can hear this, very similar to the whispers that we heard coming out of this room initially. Yeah. So just the, yes, yes, yes. Like, and, and this creature starts to hear like this cacophony of dissonant tones as it starts to ring out mm -hmm. into its head and it needs to make a wisdom saving throw of 14. Okay. Oh. 14 was saving. That is a natural 20 on my die. Okay. Is is Robin still there? Uh you are. Okay. I know I know your intention is to run on your turn. Yes. Um mm -hmm. uh Robin just think again, young man, and I silvery barbs. Yay. So I reroll. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is that is an eleven. Okay, so well done. Oh, did you, uh, did you call it a young man? Robin? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and Silas is like, yeah, yeah. Miss Robin, and, um, and he says that part out loud. Um, and at, at this, on a failed save, it's yes. going to take uh, let's see, six, six, eleven, uh, fifteen points of. Uh, psychic damage okay. and it will immediately <clears throat> use its reaction to move as far as its speed allows away from Silas. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fifteen psychic? That's correct. Okay, great. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, there we go. And I just want to throw out that I am going to choose Neb. Uh, Neb, you get a you get advantage on the next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> as this, you know, these within, you know, you sort of no one else hears this, but Silas, as you're watching, and and Robin, as you see it initially, like shake its head, throwing this off, and you you know, think again, young man, and I just sort of immediately you see it kind of roll its head back <sighs> again kind of if the smoke is just you know blowing out of its nostrils as it then begins to kind of step backwards in this this train car now this is a small car silas about as far as it can get from you um in this current <laughs> form is kind of you see it almost like the smoke of it flattens out against the back of the train car, the, this, this train car along the windows. Um, it's so still it, the is it, is yeah. it going back into the room or yeah. is it, okay. So it is, you all are the in the door. It's in the room. Okay. You're all in the doorway. So okay. to kind of move away from you, it's sort of, you know, flattening itself. The smoke is sort of dispersing, becoming wide, covering that wall. Okay. Is that all Silas? Uh, well, that's my reaction, but I thought it was my turn. Yeah, yeah. okay, great. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> that's my so, reaction. So then after that, um, if I am at the doorway, is every, again, is everyone behind me? Because my intent was to get between everyone. Yes. Okay. You've you so stepped in front of the everyone. There, Maeve there is, is running no, down that hallway. Yeah. There is no door, correct? Correct. Okay. So um, I am going to... Uh, I am also, I don't, which direction did Maeve run? Uh, towards the dining car? Or sure, the, yes. Yeah. So it's, it's either towards the dining car or towards everyone else's rooms. Is that the right I reading think, here? I think so. Yes. You can yeah. either go, you know, into the next car or down past the rooms. Okay. Where, where is everyone else in relation to that then? I'd be, uh, Robin would be headed towards the dining car. Okay. She's moving, so, got it. Ba basically, Silas is going to move that direction for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but then if he is if he passes anyone on the way, um, he is actually going to try to um, you know scoop them up and also go with them. So in other words, I will use my action to try to you know move move Health them quicker as well. 
Yeah. Okay, um, how long does this this effect that is pushing him, you know, pushing, I should not say him, pushing it back from you, how long does that last? Just the turn? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it ju okay. just the turn, that is just correct. Turn. Okay, yeah. good. Okay. Um, so yes, as you're starting to kind of move in that direction, you can sort of help people or, or encourage them to come along with you. Um, unless you want to take an action with that, it's just free chatter. Unless you want to do a persuasion, but you know, it's your buddies. Yeah. Um, okay. So then in that case, um, if, if that's what we're talking, basically I'm trying to see if I can help somebody with my action that then I they see. can take their action to get even further. I see. Well, is there anyone nearby? I mean, Silas, as he starts to kind of, you see him sort of back this thing up and then he's, he himself starts to back down the hallway, kind of beckoning to you. Is there someone that wants to go with him? Um, I do. I kind of want Frusetta, like she sort of hangs back because she's okay. aware that she's, you know, even though she isn't that big, big yet, she's mm -hmm. six four. So mm -hmm. she does sort of stay closer to Silas in the, in the hang back sort of okay. idea. Because she, she knows, I mean, at this point, she knows she has strength. So she's like, if something's yeah. coming, it'd probably be better for her to be like, okay, you know, ready, sort of. And because her axe is sort of like in her pants, all she does is she just begins to rage that you guys kind of know this by now. Her eyes start flashing, her hair is sort of, okay. and your fingers, fingertips, she has like electricity in her fingertips and she's just watching this, watching. Basically, Feruza like. says, I can take care of myself. Uh, <laughs> Neb and Hope, are you interested in getting a little extra distance? I think I already cast Expeditious Retreat right. last you time. Did. So That's I right. am ready to go. So if he wants to grab Neb. Yeah, I well, mean, well, Neb is, if she's up for it, if she wants Well, to. so uh, Feruza <laughs> is on the other side of the spectrum from Neb, who is tiny. She is backing away uh -huh. and heading towards the dining car, but it's slow. Mm -hmm. And if you look at her, she'll... We need to block the door, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good plan, good plan. Good uh, plan. And very well. So Silas is okay. just going to uh, run over. And then in that case, if, if no one looks like they need help on the pathing there, yep. um, I am going to now use my action to ready an action for if the creature uh gets out of the room okay so you are readied if he comes out if yeah i'm gonna get room. past okay, gotcha. nub and feruza but i'm gonna be watching into the hallway and if it comes out of the room um i'm going to attack it okay which it can't do till after your turn correct uh, okay <laughs> great uh feruza you're next okay so i mean no one has actually gone after this thing yet it just looks like it's in the room and it's like, come at me, bro, sort of-ish. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's doing? A little bit, yeah. I mean, now Silas has sort of pressed it up against the back wall. Okay, so she's, I mean, Fruz is basically, I mean, she's watching the situation, what she's trained to do. Mm -hmm. And she's looking at, and she looks at Silas with like this look of like, can I, you know, sh should I throw this thing? Or is it gonna like taunt it? <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. So Ruse is going to decide at this moment, I have to throw warning shots because I have to, like, to let it know what we're made of. So she's going to like start doing this with her fingers. The electricity sort of starts coming off and she's gonna literally go Ch -ch, and from her fingertips are like these like electric darts and they're basically, she calls them electric sparks, but they're daggers, uh -huh. mechanics. Uh huh. Let's see. Let's see. Roll your you, attack. I think I'm maybe I get. Oh, it's melee, so I... Uh, oh, yeah, move in. You gonna move in? Uh, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. oh, no, wait, I did it wrong. Hold on, I'm okay, rolling no the worries. wrong things here. 17 to hit. A 17 to hit? Mm -hmm. Will hit. Now, Yay. is it is it a melee? Do you need to move up next to them to do it? Um, well, this I decided not to do. Okay, Because like, okay. she just throws them as she's she sort of, like, you Got know, just, just warning shots. Totally, you got it. So you step in, you know, into the space that Silas abandoned as he's sort of mm -hmm. moving backwards, you know, pulling up, trying to pull, you know, encourage people to come away and just <laughs> as these sparkling lightning daggers end over end towards this creature, uh, you hit with a 17. Yay. Go ahead and roll your damage as it sort of seems to almost fly through this, this smoke, but it does sort of <sighs> rear its head as it kind of moves through the, the ink. And she portal. says, like, don't make me do this. And she, it's a nine damage. <laughs> it's nine. Okay. Yeah. Nine lightning, nine. <laughs> Stings. Stings. Okay. Anything else, Frieza? 
No, she's just moving, moving, moving. She's watching the okay. crew and staying behind that movement. And you're kind of, you're starting to move towards the dining car as well. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. It is its turn. Uh, Neb and Hope, you were sort of the last two directly standing there with an eye line to this thing. Um, as it sort of backed up against the wall, Neb, you see it shake its head. And as it does, it's almost like it unsticks itself and begins to step forward, uh, creeping along towards you. It then scrapes one foot along the ground and begins to charge. <laughs> oh <God>. All right. <laughs> Here I am. Hope and Neb, you are both a possible target to this. Oh, but I rolled it terribly. So we're gonna start here with Neb. Uh, that's a 12 to hit. That hits. It does. Oh, oh my no, god. I'm so, um, so so quick question yes. though, does uh, yeah. they are located in the hallway? Does Silas see it when it makes this attack? It it'll see it come through, yes. So you will take your readied. I, I I'm I'm gonna do that before Go that then. Okay. And uh and you hear uh well nobody hears it, but Silas hears very loudly in his mind. <sighs> Mm. And the, the whispers continue. Yes. And uh, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving 14. throw again. That's better for me. That is a 22. Yeah, that makes it. It's okay. still going to take half damage. Okay. Um, which is, let's see, half of 15 is... Uh, oh, okay. seven. So seven. Seven psychic damage. Okay, Ooh. seven psychic damage. That'll take it. Okay. Um, all right, great. Still, as it comes through and, and you know, this, it, it just turns its head so that one of this kind of smoky gourd horns comes right at you, Neb, and just sort of shakes you, uh, pushing you back against the side of the... Um, the train. Oh, I took the wrong dice out. Twenty-one points of damage, bludgeoning. <gasps> damage. That's exactly how many hit points I have. Oh my <laughs> god! Up against that back wall again. <gasps> Like with, with Silas, the glass shatters, splintering like spider webs across the back as Neb slides down to the ground. As it stands there in that corner, it turns its head towards you, um, uh, uh, Robin, and sort of exhales. Now, there's a part of you that thinks it, it, it's used to being able to being able to go after both of you, but gosh darn that Silas. Um, <laughs> it is unable to on this turn. Um, all right, Robin, it is yours. Um, okay, uh, a couple things I'd like to ask. Uh, I do have Expeditious Retreat yeah. on, so could I use that uh, maybe just to take my regular movement and use my dash to pick up Neb, maybe? I will allow it. You're going to have to do a strength check to okay. see that you can do that. Sure. Oh, is there any way for Firza to help or no? For, no, no Firza, I mean, you you started moving away. I mean, you're all just yeah. seeing this um, yeah. happen as you've you know literally just taken these actions. Um, you know, Maeve's running, looking over her shoulder, and can see basically yeah. through the train cars this disaster zone that's happening right there. Uh, but yeah. hope, I hope I keep doing it. Sorry, <laughs> Robin, go ahead <laughs> and roll your strength check. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why? You're going in the dice dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's a two. Wait, a two. wait, wait. Yes, Lauren, did yes. you use your, 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 your advantage? Uh, there was no, there was nothing yeah, to there roll. Was nothing, oh, there was no, nothing no, to roll. No. No. I had to think back for a second. Like, no, there's nothing yeah, to roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, at least you have to save, though. Yeah, I'll have advantage. Oh. <laughs> I imagine it's not that you can't pick up Neb because she's, you know, yeah. 90 pounds soaking wet. It's that in that moment, she's probably still pressed up against the wall by this creature. Yeah, I mean, this like, thing is yeah. right there. I mean, to take yeah. it, it's almost a sleight of hand to try i mean it's you know it's step back to look over at you and you're just reaching to try and get her um but of course running is also going to be an op attack yes um robin wouldn't leave neb if anything as soon as he 
disengages from her, Robin's mm -hmm. action is going to be to cover her. Okay. Um, I mean, he he's... It's disengaged from, from Neb in the sense that, like, <laughs> they're not physically touching any longer. Um, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, just throw yourself there now. Yeah, that'd be, okay. my, that'd be my action. And Robin's action. <laughs> so you see Neb's body. I mean, every you just immediately can see blood underneath the skin start to pool up where this thing is just battered her um, as you sort of slide between them. What? <laughs> I forgot I had this. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to backtrack. But you sure. Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Robin. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, Robin once again um, is just gonna look at this thing. Say, Get away from her! Okay. And I'm going to vortex warp him. So he needs to make a Constitution oh. saving throw. Uh, DC 13. So con oh, saving throw. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> oh, I'm pretty conny. Oh, no. Oh, but that's not a very good roll. What did you say? 13. Oh, I do make it 16. <sighs> okay, that's worth a shot. Okay, well then, uh, okay, just making sure that nothing yep. else happens. No half or anything. Yeah, exactly. And okay, so it's okay um so so nothing happens but if that's cool i'm gonna use my movement then to, okay. to drop onto her to drop onto her yes yeah okay. yeah i'm i'm cool with all that nothing really okay. happens so yeah. it's, all, <laughs> it's all flavorful story stuff so it's fine <laughs> um but uh, we'll say this you know as as you're hurling you know these different things at them you you prepared expedition retreat and you're you're throwing this new thing that you didn't even know you could do but something in your mind says just get it away from neb and as it does again it's just almost again these the dark smoke of the eyes behind where neb oh the fairy fire's coming yeah oh just this dark cloud of smoke that's in head ahead of you now um you can't even tell where its eyes might be any longer um oh, no. but it's just you know filling this train as you throw your body on top of her feeling the hopelessness of the situation neb please make a death saving throw yeah so neb had locked eyes with this thing yeah. and this is a bull i I can do that. We got to block the door. And the whole thing she was putting together in her head was like the picture of this brown ox with these big horns and like just filling the doorway. And and then all of a sudden she doesn't know where Darkness. she is anymore. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. With advantage, that's a fail. Wow. I rolled a three and a nine. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, Outside the window. You see Steve step oh, I up. I forgot about Steve. He looks at you, Maeve, as you're running. He locks eyes with you. And there's a little smile on his stony face as he turns back towards this smoke and says, No. <laughs> I love you, Steve. <laughs> Okay. I love Steve. Oh, <laughs> it failed. You oh. immediately see this smoke that has been kind of flitting around side to side. It suddenly kind of almost like the smoke is moving in slow motion as it tries to kind of, you know, get itself back in a position to potentially attack uh, uh, Robin as, as she lies there on top of Ned. Um, and Steve uses this moment to hop up on the side of the train and rip the door. I'm sorry, I'm destroying my own <laughs> office. Rip the the door, the sliding door, practically. You just <laughs> off of the rails and steps into this That's area. Steve. As the it turns, and this stone creature and this smoke creature sort of stare each other down. Way to go, Silas, for inviting him. We can back up with you. Uh, with with Steve having said that, I will turn <laughs> back to this creature, and I point to it and I say, "You heard the Steve? <laughs> no, <laughs> double no, double no." Um, actually, before I do that, yeah. I would like to um, I would like to put my eye on it. I have my eye on it. You have your eye on um, it. 
So now I will know. You will know. Wisdom? Oh no, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it, I forget. You're doing your own. That's right, right. This is another. It's uh, 25. 25, 25 to hit? To yeah. hit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then it's 20. Yeah. 24. Even an interdimensional. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I lied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rolled a 19 on the die, and because I have my eye on him, <laughs> it is a crit. Oh, gosh. So that is amazing. <laughs> it's double maxed on the dice. Yep. And yeah. then, so that's 20 plus 4 plus. Uh, do, do, do. Max. Plus 80. 2, I think. <laughs> that should be, we need a character in a, in a video game that's his name. Yeah, Max Damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that should be Max. 26. 26? Ooh. Bye. <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't seem that bad. Uh, <laughs> um, although, no, we're going to let it go. It's all good. Because um, he's back to being smoke now, so he's a little harder to see. But we're okay. Uh, we're going to go with that as fine. Because uh, it's more fun. Anything else, Maeve? Uh, Okay, great. Um, so yeah, as that, you know, again, this like ball of energy and 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 power uh, kind of erupts from you. And as it takes, again, the smoke kind of <gasps> sort of absorbs it and disperses for a little bit, and then it kind of pulls itself back together. Um, and I think as that yeah. happens, yeah. Um, I find that the letter opener is in my hand. Ooh. As you look down at your hand, is is it, I don't know how are you or how are your nerves or how much uh, coffee have you had today? Are you a little <laughs> shaky? Much. Not not too bad. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I I don't love squaring off with this thing, but <laughs> it's it's almost like I just wasn't even paying attention and reached into my pocket and pulled it pulled it out. All right. Um, Silas. All right. Um. Quick question, have I seen Ivy since this creature appeared? No, it sort of burst through her flaming body and it seemed like maybe you caught a glimpse of her back in the mirror. Okay. Um, I am going to, first of all, uh, you hear Silas's voice um, come uh, become somewhat um, like digitized almost. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just hear uh, him say, I command you to rise from your grave and basically uh, this energy um, kind of washes out over Neb and that is going to restore uh, seven hit points of health Ooh, yay. as my bonus action I'm a uh, bull <laughs> and, and then with my action i am going to take a little bit of a chance here but it's also you know what what's left in the fumes yeah uh, and the tank um yeah. i am a long day to, guys uh i am going to um in front of uh this creature to the left of uh where neb is uh currently prone yes um there is going to be kind of hunched over um, Ivy is going to appear and it is, is kind of uh, just begging and pleading. Please, please, I'll do whatever you want. I, I, I'll, I'll be good. I won't talk to them ever again. And it just starts uh, pleading with, with the creature. Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> fantastic. Anything else, Silas? That is it. Okay. Veruza. You are still there. You took a couple of steps back, um, but you know, in front of you, uh, uh, Robin is splayed out over Neb, who's just sort of opened her eyes and gone, "I'm a bull." Um, uh, Steve has stepped in, and and you know, behind Maeve is throwing sparks of energy, and Silas yeah. is saying creepy things, and then Ivy appears on the floor in front of you, begging for this thing to stop. What would you like to do? There's still a lot going on at once. There's a lot <laughs> going on. And and the smoke is just sort of everywhere, or is it? It's retreated back a little bit, and it, is it contained? It, it is. You can no longer see any discernible form of it, um, but it is sort of swirling. You can see where it is. You just aren't entirely. It's hard to target it. Okay. Uh, 
screws at first. She looks to find where the mirror is because she doesn't want to throw or hit anything that's going to break the mirror into a million. Times. That's around the corner. You guys are in okay. the hall, so you're you're in a good position to, to keep that. Okay, so, I was like, yeah. I, could, good, I could just see that good happening. Good thought. Oh, good thought. <laughs> and we have five more cards. <laughs> 15 stops oh on the train. <laughs> we'll see you in 2025. <laughs> <laughs> One way to find job security, shattered mirror. <laughs> like, no, I did. Let me get a broom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this moment. Putting pieces <laughs> together. <laughs> Combat. <laughs> All right, so Faruza at this moment, you know, she's raging, so she looks yeah. like she's bigger than 6'4". Yes. And for some reason, she actually looks, like, kind of happy at this moment. And she squints, and her, you know, she start, looks like she starts flexing, and she's like, you want smoke? You're getting smoke. It's go time. Order on this tra train! <laughs> and her axe has turned into, like, this sort of gavel. But the gavel is like sparkly, sort of. So it looks like it could sort of like, it looks like it, it doesn't look solid is okay. my point. So it looks okay. like it could affect something that is more right ish That's what it looks like. So she's just literally going to bring it up. And she, when she says, you know, objection on this train, she's going to swing. Because she moves in and swings at this thing to knock it, just knock it back so that we can get Neb out of the way. Ivy, like, to save everyone. And, Chaotic. Okay, let's see. Let's trust Die Hard. Come on, baby, Die Hard. Do what you do. Come on, Die Hard. Let's see. Oh, that was weird. 13, 15 hit? Uh, 15 does not hit. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> it is, and, and I mean, frankly, these should be disadvantaged now anyways, but uh, yeah, I mean, you're- Oh wait, this is, I have advantage? You have advantage, <laughs> but we're disadvantaged because there's no more fairy fire. Yeah. So we're going to have to just take your straight roll, unfortunately. Let's see, this is strength because I'm raging. It's strength. Yeah. Let's see. <gasps> 20! Unnatural. Oh, no, 20. Sorry, at least. Oh, what? what? We, have, you, we have, you have disadvantage on your attacks now because the fairy oh. fire is gone. And it, with your advantage, that means it's just the straight first roll, unfortunately. Even I'm so you... sorry. You were so excited. <laughs> you were no, so no. excited. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Damn it. Um, All right. Didn't realize that. Here's no. Here's here's the, you know generous DM because you know you're never gonna survive this fight anyways. Yeah. Uh, let's take half damage. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at we'll that. give you half damage. Roll your damage. It's not crit okay, damage, but roll your regular you. damage. I'll take half of it. Okay. I'll, I'll use them because I because I love how excited. It's always you. reassuring when the DM says you're not gonna survive this <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. okay. it'll, it'll so enjoy. So this is seven. It's a, it's a new weapon. She doesn't really. Yeah, sort you're of trying like, out. So I'll yeah. take three of that. Okay. Oh That's no, I rolled good. a. I rolled a thirteen. Oh, you rolled. 14, oh, okay, great. Fifteen. I rolled so a fifteen. Take... So I have a fifteen. I'll take the seven. That's absolutely <laughs> fine. Makes very little difference. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's smoke. What are you doing, swinging things at smoke? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fruz. Anything else? No. No. Okay. Well, wait. You know what? Okay, so when she yeah. realizes that it that, that when she realizes that it doesn't do what she thinks it's gonna do, she's going to dive toward toward Ned. Okay. And where so we're you, Robin and Neb. Are you so dog we, pile? <laughs> we have Neb, Robin, Feruza, <laughs> Ivy, uh, all kind of huddled in this like yeah. spot around here, um, yeah. <clears throat> trying to just sort of protect Neb as best they can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Steve is standing guard in the, you know, right at the door. Um, I think uh, that's all for Uza then? Yeah, because I all can't right. drag her yet. <laughs> it's, it's its turn. Mm -hmm. How do I want to do that? Let's see. Okay. It doesn't seem that interested in any of you anymore. As it turns and gets sort of locked on this stone creature standing not too far away from it um, seems to be its main concern. In fact, you know, those of you who have dealt with this before, particularly Silas, you know, maybe there's a little, <sighs> little chuckle or something in the air that you sense as these two sort of gigantic 
creatures face off. As it turns towards him, <clears throat> it sort of begins to move slowly and then faster as it runs straight towards this stone creature slamming into its body. Um, boom, let's see on Steve. That is a 19 plus my to hit. It's gonna hit Steve. Steve always comes to the That's 25 bludgeoning on Steve. Crack! You quite literally hear the kind of crack of stone as it, it bashes into Steve's body and some dust and pebbles begin to kind of drop off of him onto the floor of this train. Um, choo -choo. It rears up and hits him again. With a natural twin. Mm. Oh my oh, god. My no! <laughs> we just got you back. Yeah, I know. He's 28 us. plus. Yeah. Oh boy. What are we uh, seeing? He's just cracking and like falling apart. Is that what we're seeing? Yes. <clears throat> A second hit on Steve, and again, crumble. More pieces of this stone begin to fall onto the ground, uh, creating a, a pile of rubble at his feet. Um, with those two hits, again, more <laughs> kind of chuckling in the air. Um, but that is what it's gonna do. Robin, you are lying on top of a now sort of <laughs> semi-conscious uh, Neb trying to figure out where she is. Uh, all of this, it's, it did run away from you all, so I suppose if you want some op attacks, you can grab them. Oh. I think I'm under too many people to even try. <laughs> we're like, we're, but, you know, Fariza and, and Robin, if you wanted to go for it. I mean, that's still what it's going to do. I I don't think you you can, with your reaction, you know, with your op attacks, uh, do anything about it. But you can go ahead and take them if you want. I just don't think it's going to make a difference uh, unless we're just trying to distract it. But I think, I don't think it's going to get distracted from this. From Save your there's be a, uh, yeah. a thing okay. going on between them. So, if, yeah. If we have a second to talk, Neb will be like, "We all got to get out of here, including Steve. Let's mm -hmm. let's go. Let's go. I'll block the door." Okay. Okay. Um, uh, um, so your turn, Robin. Yeah. Okay. I've got one more of these. Um, ooh, this is going to be interesting. Um, Robin is going to reach out and say, "You got to trust me, Steve," and I'm going to vortex warp Steve. Ooh. So he can choose to fail. Or he can make the roll. Ooh. Hmm. He's gonna make the roll. Okay. So Wisdom? It's con 13. Con. Con 13. I think that's a fail. That's a. No, no, that's a nine. Where's the dot, Deborah? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a 13? 14, yeah. No, oh. 13. He saves. All right, he stays. Yeah. That was all I was gonna do. Uh, I guess, I guess since we're on the other side now, we can't make it to the dining car. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna, st or Robin's gonna start, I guess, mm -hmm. heading to the back towards the kitchen kind of area. Okay. Wait, wait, where is Steve uh, and this creature located? Steve is point? Steve and these creature are sort of they're still in the compartment car, but they're right at the the coupling before you head into the dining car. Wait. So Silas and Maeve, you're on, in like the dining car area, you know, mm -hmm. um, the Steve and the monster are in between you and then Feruza and Neb mm -hmm. and Robin are on the other side. Mechanical question. Does that, does that jive with you, Silas? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Uh, yeah, sorry. Mechanical question. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't remember. Um, it, it, you can only do one spell per turn, even if your reaction isn't. Another as long spell. as it, no, you can do a cantrip and a spell. You can't right. do two spells. Copy that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The react the reaction is a separate thing, though. A reaction mm -hmm. is a separate category. So if you oh, have right, a reaction that's a spell, you can yeah. Oh, really? Great, because you can't so that. It, I could yeah. I could now just doing a spell. I could silvery barbs mm -hmm. as my reaction. Let's go for it. Um, All we'll, right. So we'll I will look it up silver, later. I'll silvery barb Steve, and I will make okay, him reroll that. Reroll that. 
Uh, so, oh, Steve. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, con 13. Maybe. That's con? so good. All right. That's so good. That's... He's still going to do it. That's a 20. Oh. <sighs> oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then. Like then... re-roll at disadvantage or anything? Okay. No. Um, mm -hmm. Since that happened, I will... I will give Steve the advantage on his next turn. He can he has advantage on a attack roll ability check or saving throw. That's okay. all I can do for him. So all right, all. fantastic. Uh, and, yeah, then I'm moving back. You're starting to move. All right, Neb. I'm gonna scramble to my feet, and so I want to place myself in between the creature and Feruza and Robin. <laughs> I think that's possible. So, I don't necessarily want to get closer to the, the right, creature. Right, you just want to I be just... in between. Yeah, Robin, Feruza, you, monster, creature. Steve, Silas, and Maeve. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't do. I can't help Maeve, and uh, I can't help. I can't help the other two right now. Mm -hmm. I can help the three of us. And uh, I'm going to say, we just need to get out of this car. Back up! Back up! Back up! And she'll start to back up, and she'll do what she was going to do before. And you watch as her legs get longer and get brown hair on them, and her head gets bigger, and she <laughs> and she morphs as she turns into an ox, Ooh. which is a large creature. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to the walls creak. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to fill the space and snort and be backing up uh -huh. and hopefully continue to back up with my friends out into the next car. And then if I've got to stand in the doorway, like Steve is doing on the other side, gotcha. and just block this off, that's what I want to do. Gotcha. So yeah, so you're starting to kind of move backwards. So there's a big ox butt coming <laughs> towards you, Feruza. <laughs> oh, my tail is wagging. Oh yeah. It's a wagon tail. <laughs> but it's, it's pushing you without much uh, choice. Yeah. Forget saving throws. <laughs> yeah. This, this, my, <laughs> wow, I'm really powerful as an ox. Yeah. This is kind of fun. Oh, what's I'm kind of ruining the walls. Oh. Now, do you, is there a little blue tinge to your ox somewhere? I, I think her eyes. I oh, think, yeah, there you go. Great. I think those of you on the other side would probably see the, the bright blue eyes, but the rest of it is this brown uh, rump. ox with the big yep. giant horns you know big big rump coming big rump <laughs> um we have babe the big blue ox and then oh. the big blue oh. eyed ox, blue -eyed ox exactly. yeah. um all right it is steve's turn he has advantage thanks to robin Whew. Okay. And we've asked him to run. You've asked him to run. We've asked all of us to run. <laughs> <laughs> um he does not he stays right in the melee with this this thing. Um, his fists ri rising with a one and a two, reaching forward, oh. uh, attempting to hit this creature. Um, but he, he misses on his first, but he hits with his second. Oh, that's why I had those up. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> 19. On his second hit, boom, he slams into this creature somehow within the mist, finding whatever physical form of it he can, um, bashing into this creature's uh, face. As you all, those of you who can see him, probably Neb a little bit, Silas and Maeve. Um, there's a ferocity uh, to this attack, a personal nature to it um, as this goes down. Um, Maeve. I, what what happened last time worked last time. I trust, mm -hmm. I trust our Steve. Yes. And again, I will, no. Um, uh, 19 to hit. 19 to hit will hit. Okay. And what's this? Actually, oh, sorry, disadvantaged again, again though, now. We should oh, okay. do that now. Uh, Sixteen to hit. 
will miss. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yep. Flies past. Uh, it's so much harder. This thing that, you know, the mist just seems to move and adjust every time, uh, you know, you send things at it. It's just really hard to gauge where it's thick and where it's thin and where it's real and where it's not. Fair um, enough. There we go. Anything else, Maeve? Um, sure. It is on my list. It's on your list. Mm-hmm. That's where we are. Okay. Silas. How long has it been? Oh, you know, I'm sorry. I scratched that. I, 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 yeah, I can do that. Sorry. Okay, great. Uh, It has been uh, 12 seconds since all of this started. Okay. Um, The first time that this happened with Silas, Mm -hmm. um, I cannot remember. uh, Did he go unconscious? I don't think he did, right? I don't think he did. No. Yeah. um, Do I recall? I, I will say this. You recall there was more lead up more lead up and what what, i'm I'm not sure i know what you mean by that you engaged with this creature for longer before the. okay do i have a sense of how long until it disappeared considering that you know that uh ivy can stick around for about a minute that feels about right for this creature as well okay um silas is just going to um shout out uh we we've got to we've got to get away from it, and then um, mm-hmm. you see that uh, Silas is going to back up because he's got a pretty good bit of range on this, and then you see uh, briefly uh, kind of a green flash of um, just kind of energy go over him that almost looks like a mask, and then forming in his hand, um, kind of an orangish. Uh, ball emerges and it almost looks reminiscent of a pumpkin and then he just says strong enough to have it all too weak to take it and he <laughs> hurls the he hurls the uh the orb uh, in that direction and is this going to be a disadvantage it will be a disadvantage if it's an attack yes yeah it is okay um ooh, um that is still with disadvantage dirty 20 yeah Yeah. strong hit um and that is going to do uh nine points of force damage nine force he'll take that um (laughs) i have to give my math okay great uh cool he's still he still seems cool um yeah i'm sure he is (laughs) (laughs) uh all right anything else silas I mean, it's smoke. I don't know how you tell. Yeah, me. yeah. I'm going to um, and, uh, again, like I'm. Um, w- one other thing that 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 I will just, I am glancing now at the coupling um, between yes. the cars. I'm just starting uh-huh. to study it. Gotcha. Um, mm. Just uh, you're not using an action quite. quite you know. Well, I, I, I've already used that. You used it. Yes. So it's not kind of a bonus action thing. You're yeah. just starting to direct your your gaze okay sounds great Baruza. all right so, so we have i mean we have old man yeah, it yeah. is yeah. all it we is have, all bs <laughs> <laughs> we have a moose in the room or ox i mean i'm sorry um so i mean this way Baruza, you know she worries about her her friends even mm-hmm. though she worries about steve she doesn't Feel like she has to protect steve in any way mm-hmm. so she's just worried more but she's gonna like she you know uh, Neb is like moving back. Uh, she hears Silas say, "Like we gotta get away from this thing." So that's what she's doing. She's moving in the let's get out of her motion. Um, but at the same time, she's going to throw something to help Steve yeah. with this yeah. thing. So at at the same that she's done before, still she has this sort of smirk on her face, and she has her electric fingertips and instead uh, of so also both, to sight this thing you're gonna have to go down and look like through the bull's legs <laughs> oh like this <laughs> you can sight it i'm just saying flavorfully that's, oh, that's you have to go down <laughs> under that's right. i'm <laughs> suddenly she's, large she's like this yeah you want smoke no just kidding so she's going into like the fingertips and uh-huh. instead, of, instead of two there's just one lightning bolt and okay she's going to chuck it this is a javelin mechanic Okay. So it's a uh, lightning bolt, basically. It's disadvantaged unless you're going to use your your reckless. Ooh. I will raise one of my legs just to try to help stay out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Give a little bit more. Uh, uh... It doesn't actually do anything, but Neb no, tries. Yeah. <laughs> um, should I trust the dice? 
No, I'm gonna have to use the Nego. <laughs> You're gonna yeah, get reckless. Gonna okay, yeah. so it's a straight roll. No, okay. no disadvantage, but no advantage. Fifteen. To hit? Yeah. We'll miss. <sighs> Flies off to the side. Ricochets, misses the uh, the, the the smoke. Unfortunately, this thing is a mm -hmm. lot harder to hit. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else, Frieza? Um, no, she's just gonna keep backing up. Out, but right, you're able to get right. out of the car. Then you can yeah. actually leave the this oh, car and come outside uh, into the snow and sort of looking through the windows uh, at everything going on within the train car. Because Steve ripped the whole side off, basically the whole. Seat. No, just meaning like there's windows, you know. So he he ripped the uh, the door off of the side over by the dining car, and the glass okay. is shattered uh, where this sort of fight right outside of compartment A. Um, okay. But you know, in the in the light of the windows you can mm -hmm. sort of see everything as you're standing outside in the dark okay okay cool. all okay. right it's its turn um it has disadvantage on strength but i think we're still good here all right that's only on ability checks yeah gotcha mm -hmm. oof <laughs> that's a hit That's a hit. Shoot. Fifty one bludgeoning damage. Oh my gosh. Let me check. This feels extremely personal. They have to know each other. I lost him. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this feels very personal to me. Yeah. And I've yeah. been yeah. a very brief amount of that. time. Yeah, it feels like there's, there's something. He has 1,000 hit points. Well, it's going to be <laughs> I didn't write it down. No. <laughs> he has 1,000 hit points. Exactly. He's fine, right? He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He is a rock. He is an island. He is a rock. That is true. He's not here. Where did I? There he is. Okay. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. These two hits. Boom. Boom. I mean, watching you all now, you know, watching these behemoths just slam mm -hmm. at each other within this tiny car. Again, the whole car shakes and shudders with every hit. You just see rock falling off of Steve as he falls to one knee, his whole legs crumbling beneath him. Um, his shoulder, again, also sort of obliterated. He just looks like he's been... Uh, an earthquake is just shaking him apart piece by piece here. Um, as he falls down, you know, again, you hear this kind of this whispery from another world kind of voice that says, I knew I'd have my shot at you again. Um, after these one, two hits. Robin. I You're behind can't. the butt of Neb. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, Robin's gonna kind of, like, tug on the tail and be like, we gotta go, we gotta go, uh, yep. and, and just make, Robin's gonna make her way out of the, All right. the train. Run outside, you two are watching this through the train car windows, uh, like some ridiculous Universal Studios <laughs> <laughs> uh, ride happening next to you, except it is real, Neb. I will back up mm -hmm. so that... I'm not going to get down off and into the snow, but okay. if I got to stand awkwardly on the coupling or whatever, and I want to be- You're plugging the- I, Yeah, yeah. I want to, Neb is hoping if we all get out of the room that it can't leave the room. Yeah. That's yeah. just, a, she's making a guess. Yeah. So she'll plug the door with her massive head and horns just on the outside and like lower her head and be prepared for if this thing comes our cool. way. You're large as an ox? Yes. So you can squeeze through a medium size opening. Uh, it's not comfortable. You're disadvantaged for a lot of things, but you squeeze your your giant body through it. Um, and really, I mean, it, it would be very difficult to get past there. Uh, anything bigger than a small creature. 
Is that it, Nim? Yeah, I'm, I, I guess I'll ready an action to attack it if it comes at comes me. Comes towards you. All right. Yeah. Um, is your, just taking a poll around the group, Silas and Maeve, since we're going to be coming back up towards you in a moment, is the idea to just kind of continue to pummel this thing from, from afar? No. I want out. I just want, you're going to get out of the train, watch this happen. I'm, let I'm Steve trying, trying and this thing distract to distract. make sure that he does not go after other members of our party. Okay. I'm perfectly content to let Steve do his job. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to step a little macro here then with this. So Silas and Maeve, um, you're going to join Robin and Feruza outside. Uh, Neb, you're going to stay plugging up that end of the car, but having stepped out, basically. Um, so yeah, these two creatures continue to just wail on each other. You watch them in horror for another 20 seconds that feels like 20 minutes as each one of these hits does devastating damage to Steve. You can see that Steve's getting a few of them in, but he is much weaker compared to this other creature. Um, as those of you who have watches or clocks on your phone are looking down, just hoping, waiting for the time to run out as Steve slowly gets pulled down to nothing. Clatters to the ground in rubble. The smoke fills the windows, blacking out all light. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. In those couple four. of seconds, because I'm looking through the door, what do I see? Nothing. It is pitch black almost so much so that it feels unnatural two one it disappears the train is repaired the window that was shattered is fine however the stone rubble of steve still lies upon the ground i will drop out of being an ox and run yep. on over. I, Neb has no idea what she's going to do, but she's going to try to do something. As you run over <laughs> Neb, you can see there are still some of his features. There's still a head, an arm, a leg. Um, it does seem as though the whatever animates this creature is still there. It's just not present. It is not conscious. It is not awake. Steve? But it's bad. Um, I... I, I Everything's everything's better. Uh, I don't know how to put a statue back together. Uh, Steve? And I have I'll, go ahead. I'll try to start <laughs> like a puzzle piece. Just yeah. putting mm -hmm. pieces back in the place they need to okay. be. You're each going to get something to do before I do yeah. this final roll. Um, I'm going to start arranging the remains. Okay, um, so, so si Silas is going to move yeah. forward. Um, since he has been um, connecting to, you know, some kind of energy that heals for, yes. you know, at least a few days now, um, does do I get the impression that that energy can touch or connect with whatever Steve is? You do. Okay. So I am, uh, Silas is going to move uh, forward. And um, even as I'm walking, because I can do this within 60 feet, mm -hmm. um, I, uh, you see out of the ring uh, that uh, Silas has, and you see for a moment that uh, it is uh, giving out, that the ring itself has changed yellow. Mm -hmm. And it starts to kind of sputter yellow light for just a second. But then it's like something's pushing against it. Uh, Silas is getting pretty emotional right now, first of all. So um, I don't know if, if we can prompt, prompt something Do you there. want a wisdom saving? I, 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 I do, yeah, actually. Please take it. Um, let's see. Oh, Lord, okay. That might be better. Um, that is an eight because of my negative one wisdom saving throw mm. modifier. As you step forward and you're casting this and this emotion is starting to well up within you this this connection you've had with you're not even sure what this is you don't even know if that's his name um but there's something that the two of you feel and again this it's almost like a lump in your throat 
you know, the, the intense pain and pressure from within your heart as if your heart is breaking. And again, you clutch your chest, bending over double as you feel the pain of this, this sharpness fly out of your chest and sudden relief. Those of you who are near him can see this little, and it's, you know, there's not much moonlight or anything going on, but this little, you know, piece of dust sort of flies into the air and falls into the snow at the ground. And at, at this moment, um, Silas lets out just uh, kind of like, <clears throat> like he's been holding his breath for, for days. Um, and, um, and then you see that the ring um, is no longer yellow that it is overtaken immediately with really bright green light. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you see just it shine out all, all, all across uh, where we are. And at this point, you also see light, waves of light start to, uh, you know, go out of it, emanate out of it in this healing light. And, it and, and, and whether it's pain or emotion, there, I, I will poetic license say there's some wetness upon Silas's cheeks. Yes, no, no, that that is perfectly fine. Yes, mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, uh, every everything's sticking because it's very yes. cold. Um, and, um, and so, as this is happening, um, that is going to restore twelve hit points of damage if that works on Steve. A little bit. The stones, Neb, as you're pulling them together, they seem to rattle and shake as they help kind of pull themselves back together. Um, they don't fully completely finish, but you can see that a couple of them kind of find like a jigsaw puzzle, the holes, and pull themselves back in. Silas, you're doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> I, 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 it it's, it's almost out. I, I, I'm almost out of, of energy. I think we all are. Uh -huh. Right. Robin, Maeve, and Feruza, you each have mm -hmm. an action before I do this last thing for Steve. Okay. Um, Feruza is, you know, she sees Neb run over and start checking the stones. She looks over at Silas and notices he sort of doubles over for a moment, mm -hmm. but then he seems to be okay. Um, but she's looking around the room to see, to make sure that thing is gone. Like she's mm -hmm. sort of just like looking around going, you know, is anything look amiss? And, um, She's gonna run over to the the mirror and just look in it. And like, she's sort of just like touching the frame. Like, you know, just in case Ivy comes back or if anything can happen, she's sort of you, just looking around it. If you want an investigation, a perception, a yeah, in, an insight, you know, what sort of uh, specifically, perception. what are you looking for? A perception? perception. Yeah, go yeah, ahead, give me a perception. Just to see if there's anything left, like to explain yeah. anything. I mean, it's yeah, just, go ahead. Oh my God, a four. This um, is not working. <laughs> you had to ro run past Neb, who's who's you know in a state standing over these pieces of of Steve, who has saved your life so many times, um, mm -hmm. who you found and awakened, you know, with your magic and and your uh, powers that and your logic. Um, you're rattled, right? As you run past this room, the main thing you notice is that while the damage done to Steve and to yourselves, where you yourselves were hit and hurt, all of that remains, but the car somehow is repaired. The car is undamaged, despite the fact that you saw it happen. The only thing that's coming to you is that it's like transparencies on top. And it's like it can only damage one transparency and not the other. Hmm. That's okay, what you're going to get with that, Bruce. Yeah, she's, she's just going <laughs> to... More than a like deserves, <laughs> but I... <laughs> I like your thread. Anything else? That's all she's doing right now. Maeve and Robin. Um, oh, uh, no, Robin, go ahead. Robin is, is going to kind of kneel down next to Neb, and she's going to look through the rubble for the pocket watches. Mm-hmm. She wants to collect them. Fantastic investigation check, please. Investigation. Plus three. I cast. I cast focus. <laughs> <laughs> I cast 19, 20, 21. 21. Uh, you find all four of them. Uh, they're all four of them are broken. 
the, you know, mm-hmm. the ones that weren't shattered before, but, and, and they're twisted, the metal, the, the, the chains are all broken, but you can collect the main body of all four of them. She's just going to keep them for now. Okay. Do you, do you think we can reuse them or something? I don't know if their magic is in them anymore, but if there's a chance, we can try to repair them. Maeve. I kneel down next to Steve, um, whatever is sort of recognizable as Steve's head, and I whisper to Steve, we need you. We need you to come back. We need you with us. We couldn't have done this without you. We would not have survived. Please, please come back. Please come back. You're one of us and we need you. The little bit that has kind of come back into pieces here, his head sort of almost falls, gives into gravity so that he can see more of you within his his vision. Again, while he doesn't breathe, it is that grinding of stone against stone within him that creates just this little bit of sound. I have done my duty. Protect her. Save her. The fate of more worlds than your own depend upon it. And as he does, whatever light, whatever animated who he was, seems to turn on. Oh, Steve. We didn't even find out his real name. <sighs> Frizz is just going to come back from where she is, and she's going to notice that everyone seems sort of down, and she's going to and she's going to just drop to her knees next to everyone. And what just happened? Are you guys trying to put him back together? Or what's, what's what's going on? What's happened here? I think Robin will take the pocket watches and gently place them in one in each of your guys's hands and just say if we're going to keep him alive it will be through our memories of him that's all we can do now Maeve picks up a stone and you see that letter open in her hand and it extends into a blade and she says it's not fair he made his choice it's not fair. Both of those can be true at the same time. We can avenge him. We can finish what he started. Maybe that's maybe that's why we're here. He wanted us to save her. That's what we'll do. For Steve. Well, maybe we should get out of this. Go back uh, somewhere where it's safer. Should we just leave the stones here? You all start looking at each other. You're all the worse for wear. It has been a very long day. You are still sporting some of your wounds from earlier fights. You are exhausted. Bones are crushed. Um, I mean, Neb, you're alive, (laughs) but in human form, you know, you're limping, there's blood, there's bruising, um, your head aches. Um, Let's at least gather everything up. So it's not just laying everywhere we can put them safely somewhere so that maybe maybe there'll be a point where we can 
bring him back. But until then, I don't want I, him just lying on the floor. I want to pick up a couple of pieces mm -hmm. and take them into the room and okay. set them by the mirror. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll follow me. You I'll find, do the same. yeah. You spend, you know, we'll give you, you, you take a, take 20. <laughs> You do this, you, you find pieces that have the ornamentation of this different, the designing of these different elements, these different natural features. Um, enough, you know, that can kind of represent who he was, what he was, um, and you place them in front of the, the mirror on that little vanity. Um, the room still smells worse than ever of smoke and fire and soot. And in fact, as you look around now, um, Feruza, a little bit less panicked, you can see that the room now does appear to have a sooty quality to it. There's, you know, dark soot on the floor in certain places and on the furniture. Um, it's hot in here despite the, uh, the, the, the cold outside. Um, but it does seem safe for the moment. There is no sound. There is nothing else. Um, Bruce is sort of Go ahead. fingering one of the pieces of stone in her hand. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I feel like that, whatever that was, was like long and coming or something. But I also wish, I, I hope that it, maybe at some point we can figure out who like he was to her. Obviously, there's a lot of feeling there, but I wish we could just somehow figure this out in this. Silas, you said that you would talk to him a little bit on the walk back. Something about how he was a, a family member. That's all I got out of him. He um, was pretty tight-lipped. And, you know, listen, I don't know what's going on. My head's swimming right now, but I, I mean, I feel like I can barely remember the last few days, but um, one thing I can say is it looks like at this time of night, like I said, I, I know that you were all skeptical when I was initially talking about it, maybe, but we're going to need to find a way to be off this train or out of this place this time of night if a creature like that is going to get to run amok for what looks like about a minute Mm -hmm. Or we need to be in a better position to run after asking Ivy a question. Maybe yeah, get a, if she says by the door. Run, we might need to listen. Yeah, or we need be, to find a way to get her out. I think that's we're doing that with the mirror shards, right? I think that's, that's what we're doing. That's what she said. Or are yeah. we releasing the creature? I thought that because each time it's gotten bigger and stronger and closer. It started as smoke in the room. I don't know, but we have to trust one of them, right? And the one has just been nasty and attacked us and our friends, and the other has just begged us for help. So until... Until my gut says otherwise, I'm going to try to help her. At and least she did. Yeah, and she did say that the all of the shards was the answer to a bunch of our questions. Listen, I know this sounds completely wild, but I feel like in the last couple of days that it, it's it's almost like a a word that's just on the tip of my tongue. But I can almost feel like I can read thoughts and so i am not i'm not doing it to any of you i'm not doing it to any of you but i if we are truly concerned that whatever this creature is is just projecting ivy to trick us there's there's a chance that i can try to see if if that apparition is lying or not the ivy apparition. Oh, right. apparition, if it is. Wow. Hey, Silas? Yeah. Uh, I'm glad that thing is out of you. Yeah, yeah that... I don't know what that was, but I didn't like the way that I felt. So. 
I, I, when, I, when I walked over before I went over to the mirror, I, I noticed you were in a little bit of, in a little bit of pain. Is, is that what happened? It, something came out of you? Yeah, I don't know what it was. And Silas is kind of like going over to wherever it happened just to see if he mm -hmm. can see anything. So it was somewhat on your, it was like outside when you saw the crumble happen before you ran in. So as you step over off the train, I mean, again, from that hot room, the cold just bites through you. There's now a wind that really kind of cuts through your skin to your bones as you step outside and it is a blanket of white snow with all your footprints in it. For Rosa, it was the same yeah. thing like what you had. Yeah. But it yeah. was just in a different place. Yeah, it felt like it just felt like my eye was on fire and then just all of a sudden the world just seemed brighter and it didn't you didn't seem as um threatening to me. Yeah, I don't know if that's how I felt. I think I felt, so I felt very driven. Um, it, it's like I felt like the shards were the most important thing that there was. And like I said, some of the memories are a little bit fuzzy, but I feel like I probably didn't behave incredibly well. So I do want to apologize to everyone. It wasn't uh I, I i don't know how fair that is to say but like i would say it wasn't me but i don't know maybe it was me without my um uh, you know higher graces uh in in between something changed the both of you something bad i don't know how we can prevent it in the future but I think Maeve still has the book that talked about the the story that was like this. So maybe we can get some clues out of that. I mean, it had to be those ice zombie creatures because they kept exploding. That's it, it had to be related to that. And so I never want to see those again. No, we have to avoid them at all costs. Agreed. Because we can't. Because we already saw what it did to me. We saw what it did to Silas. We have no clue what it would do to you three. And I don't want to find out. <laughs> okay. You were all exhausted. Mm -hmm. You were all emotionally spent. What would you like to do with the rest of your evening? Someone needs to watch, but we definitely need to rest. Yeah. And we need to keep an eye on the fire. That's right. It looks like you need to do it for us. <laughs> Would you like to give me an order of watches? Um, I think. How many watches think, do we need? You'll need three. Three watches. Okay. I think Robin will go first this 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 night because yeah. I think she sees that everyone else just needs to needs to rest, but she wouldn't want to do it alone so i don't know if you know if anyone would want to stay up for a little while with her robin i know you're gonna argue with me but i can't get to sleep not mm -hmm. now so i stay with you i would love your company all right robin and neb second one um Silas, do you want to join me? Feruza sort of looks at him. Yeah, he, okay. yeah. Uh, he he just kind of uh, nods um, absent-mindedly a little bit. And says, "Yeah, I'll, I'll be there." And uh, then he's going to walk back to his room. Maeve, mm -hmm. uh, Maeve would want to do a watch alone. She doesn't want to be around people right now. And she's also going to go back to her room and get very drunk. Great. <laughs> so, uh, Feruza, Silas, and Maeve, you head back to your your own personal compartments who deal with your grief and your pain, both physical and otherwise in your own ways. And I would say fall asleep either very, very quickly or almost not at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, you will get, of course, your long rest uh, within that. 
Robin and Neb, uh, these watches will have to take place in the engine room if you want to keep the fire going throughout the night and keep the heat on. Um, we'll move through these fairly quickly, but uh, what would the two of you like to talk about? Um, what needs to be done to keep the, it's just like shoveling. Just and... have to keep the fire going. That's okay. All. So um, every couple yeah. of minutes, putting a new log. Okay. Uh, Robin will just kind of sit back and, you know, hopefully Neb understands that she's an old lady and needs to have a seat. Uh, so hopefully Neb can do a lot of shoveling. And uh... <laughs> As she limps across still at 12 hit points. There's seven hit points. Oh Whatever she said. <laughs> Neb is a broken... <laughs> <laughs> so she's got out. a little bit of that thousand yard stare going but yeah. she won't argue when uh yeah. miss robin sits down and she'll say uh i don't know if there's anything you wanted to talk about but before i have to start shoveling wood are you okay robin's gonna sit down and just she's she's brought her photo album with her and she's just gonna She's kind of just thumbing through it and she's, she just, you know, I was once a roadie for Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. It was the time of my life. I thought the height of any adventure I could have, I was young. And when it was over, I, I didn't know what to do with myself. It was, it was a dream come true. But I kept finding ways to keep myself busy, keep finding new highs. <laughs> I'm not very good at saying goodbye. I never have been. Tonight was hard because it reminded me of when I lost Harold. I had time to say goodbye to him, but I, I never truly said it. Neb, I'm, I'm worried this night was extremely hard for you because I, I don't know how much you've lost and any loved ones you've lost. And I'm here for you if you need anything. I appreciate that. I don't know how to feel because everyone I've lost has died of old age they've lived a good life I've been very lucky my family I had a lot of them for a very long time how well, one question for you and you talked about being done and then chasing that that feeling again How do you find it again? How do you even know that it's something you want to do? I think that's the great mystery is you just don't know what you don't know. And the only way to know is to put yourself out there. You've been hurt and you will be hurt again. And you can't let that stop you. Okay. Well, like I said before, I'm, I'm lucky to have a lot of people around me like you. And at least in the short term, I have this. And her eyes stay locked with yours as she uh, morphs into that white wolf with blue eyes. And Who is spry and uninjured <laughs> stands oh, is is still obviously sad, but like obviously also standing a little bit more comfortably and a lot more able to move around, and just gives you that wolfish. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm gonna start shoveling into the fire. I'll just hmm. pa I'll just grab one with my muzzle and then drag it on over and kind of awkwardly push it on in and just kind of 
slowly do that circuit because mm -hmm. she can only do one piece at a time. So she's hoping just constant slow will help. And and while that's happening, Robin will just be kind of going through her book and reminiscing and, and telling her stories of when she was young and, yeah. you know, each picture and kind of just doing that. So it is a, a quiet night. The train is very quiet. The forest is quiet. The only sound is the wind, which is picking up the wind that Silas felt. Um, but it's almost like white noise. It sort of provides this calming backdrop, creating this little bubble of time with you together. Um, when your time is up and you go to rouse Feruza and Silas, um, you see a little bit of a glow in their room, but as you approach, everything's fine. It again is almost just as if the moonlight were shining upon them and reflecting back. Uh, and as you wake them, they're perfectly fine. In fact, they seem stronger. Feruza, I don't know, maybe Feruza, her feet are really like scrunched up against the, the end of that bed. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, there's that. just, you can sense something about them that feels a little bit more confident, a little bit stronger. If this is right at the end of how long Neb can stay in wild shape, yep. what I imagine is she just trots into Silas's room and, is, <laughs> and she's going to do what she always does when she wakes people up, which is gently tap him on the foot, but she's going to swat at his foot with her paw. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> ah, that takes some getting used to. <sighs> A very cute puppy has just. Oh. I mean, I kind of want. I kind of want to pet you, but like that's that seems a little Ooh. weird. So. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off. And in that moment, she loses the wild shape because it can only stay for so long. And uh, mm -hmm. Neb will go. Yeah, we'll have to have a conversation about that. I think it's a natural inclination, but I haven't figured out yeah. yet whether that's something I should want. Guys, I, I don't know. I'm gonna yeah. go to bed. <laughs> Lots of new emotions, feelings that yeah. we need to get in touch with. That's for sure. All right. All right. Go get some rest, Ned. Go have a good watch. Silas and Fruza, you make your way to the engine room. Robin, you find your way to your bed. It is very comfortable, very welcoming. Uh, uh, the One of the very few sources of comfort in this place. All right. Fruza, Silas. Okay. Um, on the way to their watch, um... Fruza like rummaged and got like some snacks and when they get into the engine room. She's a growing she, girl. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. She um <laughs> she sort of just shakes her head and it's like as Robin was waking me up, I I just thought I saw, you know, a wolf and I, I realized for a second, oh wow, that's that's Neb. I I don't I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's really, really weird. To be honest, I mean, when we step back and think about the week that we've had. Week? Yeah, I mean, that's what Nev keeps saying anyway. It feels a lot longer than that to me. But, I mean, it feels like, you know, 32, 33 weeks um, <laughs> at least. But um, Yeah, so much has happened. And Fruz is just going to take one of the seats and pick up the, the shovel. And mm -hmm. she just sort of absentmindedly, like, she'll nudge a big load of rocks and or whatever mm -hmm. into the thing. Mm -hmm. And then she sits back and she offers, she starts shaking this bag of, it looks like trail mix or something. She offers, I don't know, from there, whatever. And she's going <laughs> to offer Silas, you want, want some of this? It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, know. sure. And then, you know, at, at this point, um, because, you know, Silas's um, kind of morning routines, uh, some of the meditation yes. he started to do, uh, he's like, you know, if, if we ever make it back, and if I can still do this, this is such a sanitary way to do this. And you just telekinetically, you see some of the trail mix lift up out of the bag without putting his hand in it. Little peanut float, floats <laughs> into his mouth. He's like, I mean, seriously, like no, no hand contact. It, it's germ free. There are M&Ms in it. 
Oh. Yeah, no, that that's the good Chronic. stuff. It's like it's like when you have the trail mix that has you know the M and M's or it has those like yeah. little caramel balls or you know whatever. Like, that's the good stuff. I mean, it's basically candy, and you can't yeah. call it trail mix anymore. But that is definitely the good stuff. Yeah, I need stuff like this. You know, speaking of being back with these special powers, be I didn't really think about that. Like us having these abilities when we're back around normal humans yeah like how are we something. gonna manage it you're gonna be you're gonna be like in a in like a coffee shop <laughs> levitating a muffin to your mouth how's that gonna work silas i don't know i mean we would probably be hunted by the government if that happened and so <laughs> it's probably not a good idea for us to reveal our powers overtly but um the thing that we need to do is we all need to make a pact that we will always use our powers for the good and not for evil nefarious purposes if you had to pick which one of us would actually turn into like a super villain, who do you think it would be? And be for honest. You for sure. Me? Oh, yeah, for you. <laughs> me? I mean, like, why do I and Trisha sort of holds herself up? She's like, mm -hmm. do I do I give off like an air of You are terrifying. Evil? You are absolutely terrifying. Very intimidating. <laughs> and Cruz is just gonna look at him and she's gonna uh I'm happy that you're that you're feeling feeling better, Silas. I really am. I I was worried about you for a minute, and um, yeah. I'm um I'm also I want to apologize to you. Bruce is super awkward at this moment <laughs> for um for like punching you across the face. I, 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 well, I mean, the way I remember it is, yeah, like you didn't quite get there, but um, <laughs> I mean, you know, not. I mean, we, we can we can spar sometime if you want to, but because I am a you know black belt in taekwondo, um, but um, you know just wanted to throw that out there. But um, but no, uh, it, it's completely okay because I like I said it's fuzzy, but I I was not behaving very well. But you so, also had some weird block that came out of nowhere. That was. That was new, a new one. Well, no, no, it's like I, it's it's like I can just move things with my mind, and so sometimes, like especially if I think about it quickly enough, it's yeah. like it 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 I can put up like a shield almost, or or like I could just stop things in midair. I can grab trail mix out of the bag without putting my dirty hand down into it. So uh, so yeah. Is that a word? And then right, she's gonna go think fast, and she's gonna like like a hot shine in Silas's face. And, 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 and this this time he's just gonna he's just gonna move his cheek okay. into it. <laughs> and, and, and then once it happens, he's like, "Oh, you hit me! You actually hit me!" <laughs> no, but but for real, yeah. Silas, I was I was worried about you because I mean I, I've said this many times. I I don't make friends. I don't have friends. I have my bird. I have my job, which I love. I have my family. I'm very lucky to have them. I just have a really difficult time allowing people that I don't know to come into my life, to trust myself, to feel only for them to leave. So I was upset when I realized that I cared that, that you left or something had happened to you. And when I saw that you were perfectly fine and just standing there, that, that ragey feeling that I seem to get when I'm here, and if now it's part of, I guess, what I am, I immediately went for you. And that's why I, it's sort of been just weighing on me a little heavy. And then we got attacked by a smoke monster and I kind of forgot, but I just wanted to get that out there so I wouldn't have nightmares anymore. I didn't oh. attack you because I, I hated you. I attacked you because, because I care about you. I know that sounds weird. I, but, it, it doesn't sound weird. It's been a long time since I've cared about anything that was a person. Um, I care about a lot of things, but not so much about individual people. Um, if they made some kind of great form of entertainment or media, I liked them. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, this is the first time in a while that I've really cared about people. So I get it. And I guess what I can say is maybe there is hope for you not to become a super. And then he just kind of tips his hat to, to Feruza. <laughs> we will see what we will. <laughs> oh, I can practice my laugh, but not you too can. bad. I don't want to wake anyone up. And, and, uh, and no, Silas just goes into it. And like, theoretically, they can just keep practicing. Yeah. <laughs> I think both of you are feeling enormous relief 
that this heavy, pessimistic cloud that had been following the two of you around has lifted. You are thrilled to see a little bit of humor in each other's eyes, even at these light jabs, you know, uh, to feel like this is, this is reciprocal. This is, you know, two equals standing and looking at each other and acknowledging wrongs mm -hmm. and acknowledging concern at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and you continue the rest of your watch as the wind picks up, getting louder. Uh, and uh, at the end of your shifts, as you go to wake up Maeve and you pass by the other rooms again, it's just this little moonlight kind of glow. It doesn't scare you. Um, if anything, you feel like, oh, things are going to be better, right? People are, they're getting, they're getting better. It's going to be okay as you go to wake up Maeve. I, I, I've got her for a reason. Get, feel, feel free to get some, some additional rest. And Silas is going to walk to wherever Maeve's room is. I assume the door is closed. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so Silas is going to lightly knock and louder if he needs to, if that doesn't work. <laughs> Louder is going to be necessary. Okay. <laughs> she's not only passed out, she's got headphones on. Yeah. Oh, great. And the Smith's blasting. Last bit of battery. <laughs> um, the train and outlet. Ma Maeve, I'm sorry to wake you up, but it's time. Mm -hmm. You hear a bottle fall to the floor, mm. and she kind of blearily comes to the door. Hey, um... You know, you're probably not going to remember this, but um, I just wanted to let you know that even though I don't remember many things, I do remember what you said to me. Um, I think it was yesterday about, you know, be, being left alone. And I just wanted you to know that, that you're not, I mean, technically you're about to do watch alone, but like in a general overtone, you're not alone. All right. What have are a good you walk. talking about? Good night. Wait, what? I just woke up. <laughs> yeah, I, I sort you of. You got this? Uh, hoodie. <laughs> Coming over. <laughs> setting up my. Sil Silas just walks to his room yeah. and, and like keeps watching just to make sure that yeah. she actually emerges from hers and then he goes back into his room. All right, Maeve, with all of your comfy cozies and everything that you need for your solo shift, you make your way to the engine room. Again, it's an easy job. The The wind is powerful, though, now. Um, you're protected from it, but it is a whoosh, constant kind of uh, sound, uh, it just almost enveloping you like a, like a cocoon. I'm going to take that, that rock that I picked up of mm -hmm. Steve, and I'm sort of rolling it through my fingers mm -hmm. really dexterously mm -hmm. just sort of looking at it thinking about it as i'm sitting there on watch mm -hmm. do i see anything out in the woods perception check okay uh okay uh 14. not really it's very okay. still uh, whether it's the wind or the cold, it's really, you know, you don't see eye shine, you don't hear anything. Everything seems to have really gone underground. And and, and if you were a, a superstitious person, uh, <laughs> you might say that it's, Never. it's the energy of, of what happened tonight has kind of asked the world to be a bit quiet in honor. I will sit in that and appreciate it and I look at this done and I just say thank you Steve and I tuck it away right. and I reload the fire all right the sun begins to come up a new day dawns the train is heated up and ready to go as the rest of you rise from your slumbers. Feeling your bones. Neb, you especially, you're a little sore. Uh, you know, muscle strain. But your bones have healed. 
Uh, the blood seems to have been absorbed back <laughs> in the body. Uh, and, you know, you're feeling, you're feeling much, much better physically. Um, as you all I potentially make your way up to the engine room to see Maeve. Does that sound like yeah. a good plan? Yeah, you all yeah. congregate up there. Um, she has the fire going. She knows how to drive the train. Did you have time to make any coffee, Maeve? Wow, you don't ask much. Glares <laughs> at you. <laughs> daggers. You think you throw daggers, Maeve <laughs> glare. Wait, hold on, hold on. Coffee beans, coffee beans, coffee beans, coffee beans. Coffee beans. Oh. No, they're just berries yes. again. <laughs> they're I'll they're really, them. really good, but they're not talking. Sorry. Um, and as as this is happening, yeah. uh, and everyone's talking about it, um, all all of a sudden, uh, so I what is the room? I don't know what the room looks like. Is this there is like the counter? this is the cab? Is um, there a counter is... of any sort there? No, but actually, Robin can share with you have her little time that she spent around trains. That there is a ledge on top of the uh, the firebox that gets very hot, and engineers will put their mugs on it to keep it warm. Okay, so that 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 is perfect. So <laughs> yeah, at, perfect. At, at that point in time, um, you see um, almost just almost like a slideshow fade transition. Yeah, you see a pot of coffee appeared <sighs> and um so i was like oh oh i i i think i just did that i think that was me is it real uh, uh, i i think so i hate coffee so i'm not gonna try it <laughs> somebody else reaches can. out and like immediately Did she pick it up mm -hmm. is it, it, it it it's is real. real coffee, yes. What? It is real coffee that Silas conjured. Hey, that listen. A skill. <laughs> I'm telling you, I conjured my hat, and now I can just, like, conjure things. Like, I don't think I can do it much, oh. but I think that I can conjure things. Can you conjure me a new boot? <laughs> oh, oh no. boot. It's like she's wiggling her toe through, like, the <laughs> hole. <laughs> And, and, and you see, you see, Silas is like trying. He's like, I, I, I don't think that I can do it all the time. But like, you can't, oh, you can't okay. conjure like a, a plug or something. <laughs> yeah, piece of tape, uh, duct tape. <laughs> duct tape. Yeah, like we we have duct tape duct somewhere. Tape I right? have. Yeah, oh, duct tape. Yeah. Old fashioned way. They'll they'll uh, they'll <laughs> duct tape. Duct I mean, I feel like, like I just sweet. wasted that on Eat coffee, and I need to be better. It's never a waste on coffee. And anything uh, that makes uh, Maeve less grumpy is never a waste. <laughs> <laughs> There's this lovely laughter that is emanating mm -hmm. from the, the the train's cab here as Maeve, you thrust the train into, you know, forward and it begins to slowly pick up steam. Uh, mm -hmm. It goes for, you know, about an hour, two hours. You guys are drinking coffee, enjoying each other's company, uh, enjoying the bright new day as the sun comes out. The wind is incredible. You can hear it buffeting against the sides of the train. Um, you see a signpost up ahead. Next stop, Blackwater Bay. As Maeve, you begin to slow the train down as you see a very, uh, you know, rudimentary little stop coming up ahead. A cliff side opens up. Uh, you bring the train to a stop right in front of a sort of diorama signpost at the edge of this cliff there's a small path that seems to head off on a little zigzag trail down the side of the cliff as you step down off of the train and with that we'll say good night <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> um, and please remember that life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>